Good morning, everyone. We're in Vincenzo's greenhouse here. I thought I'd just do a little bit of an update. We've got some varying kinds of tomatoes here. Unfortunately, only a couple of my uh, Siberian browns germinated, so I had to go to Siberian red and had to thin those guys down today. So I've made a couple of flats of those. And we have, you know, their traditional vegetables, the multicolored uh, sweet peppers, bell peppers. And we've got some beef steaks, and we have some cherry tomatoes. And we have uh, our baskets. I don't know whether you can see them very well. Those are perennial baskets. I filled them with varying perennials. Uh, bell flower, English daisies, some maiden pinks. And I'm going to pop in a couple of, uh, I think, a couple of uh, sweet dwarf sweet williams. And you can see what they look like here. There's plenty of them to fill the baskets. We've got some broccoli, got some nice cukes, and they're getting rather large. <laughs> you won't find these in your normal big box store. And without having the greenhouse, I wouldn't be able to do anything of... Uh, what I do here without paying a fortune for the plants. These enormous spaghetti squash, they're, they're several, <laughs> several feet and they'll have blooms on them soon enough. Same thing with my zucchinis, which are down there. They're 24 inches high. Got some nice cabbage here too. A couple different var variations of the basil. Again, the, uh, the bell peppers, the mixed colors, and I also put in some uh, red cubanella, and uh, I'm going to start uh, several, and let me see if I can put that out there. There it is. That's a little gem, and then there's another one, which is a Tom Thumb, and another one, which is a white Boston lettuce, and I'm going to start some of those here. For planting the picnic table gardens farming so I have some plants to put up there rather than start with just basic seed I'll have some nice some nice lettuce in there so I thought I'd give everybody uh, a little bit of a progress report I was very disappointed that my Siberian Browns didn't germinate only a couple of them germinated that's what happens when you save uh, seeds for a year longer than you should and it also is what happens when the weather shifts dramatically, you know, from 80 degrees one day to 24 degrees the next day. It kind of stops the germination pro uh, process. So anyway, I hope that you got a little bit of motivation for, for the upcoming planting here in Zone 6A. It's uh, Memorial Day. Usually we have a frost. Now we have a couple days of cold coming up and uh in the 30s and uh i'll have to close everything up here and keep everything warm so that it uh, maintains its nice growth patterns here happy to do it eating healthy picnic table farming look for my book on amazon uh, i completely outline the things that you can grow right there on the picnic table those lettuces that i just pointed out those are some of the things that uh, will go into the uh, picnic table farming all right, this is another short video, I hope. Gardening with Vincenzo. Remember, we can save this planet one yard at a time, beginning with your own. Remember to be kind to one another out there. Help your neighbor if you can. Okay, see ya.